So you're sitting at home and you're trying to solve some systems of equations and you're supposed to do them with your graphing calculator using matrices, but you don't have a graphing calculator that will do it. So here's a website that will work for you and I'll put the link in the description. So here's what you do. So it defaults to a three by three matrix and you want to turn this left side of this system into a three by three matrix. So you've got two for X, you've got negative two for Y. You don't have a Z value in that first equation, so if you're missing a value, always put a zero there. If it happened to be the X value that was missing, you would put an X, a zero in for the first term for X. If you were missing the Y value, you'd put a zero in here for the Y value. Okay, so you've got two, negative two, zero, then you've got three, negative one and negative nine, and then you've got four, 10, one, okay? So then you're gonna turn this right side into a matrix over here, and it's a three by three, but that's okay. You don't have to use the whole matrix here. So we can go with negative 12, 15, 20, okay? Now, to solve for X, Y, and Z, what you actually need is the inverse of matrix A. So you'll click here, find the inverse, and here it is. It found the inverse for us, okay? Now, we want to multiply that inverse of A times B. So what we're going to do is take this right here and insert it in A. So we're going to replace A with its inverse by clicking insert in A. Now we have the inverse of A, and we can multiply that by B. So the inverse of A times B, and here is my solution. So I've got my X, Y, and Z. In fact, I'm just going to take that and drag it over here. So I have X equals... negative 339 over 128, y equals 429 over 128, and z equals negative 187 over 64. Okay, now I can do more than just three by threes in here also. So if I want more, say I want seven, I can just keep going. Okay, so I've got a seven by seven and it keeps it as a square matrix. Okay, but let's say I want to do a seven by two. So let me just throw in some numbers. Okay, one nice thing about this also is that it recognizes fractions. So if I put a one third there, that's okay. Some of these calculators don't like fractions when you're dealing with online matrix calculators. Okay, so I've got a seven by two. Let's make this one a two by two. Okay, and I can multiply these now. A times B. Okay, so I'm able to multiply those. Um, let's shorten this up to another two by two. I'll just keep it well, oh, two by two, and then this I have three by three, so I'll just leave a three by three with a two by two matrix inside it. I can add them, I can subtract them. Okay, so I can add much bigger dimensions. I can do things like uh, multiply. Uh, let's say three times matrix A plus two times matrix B. Okay, so there's a lot of different things I can do with this calculator that will be very helpful if I do not have a graphing calculator that I can do this on.